Hey guys, welcome back to my meal prep series. Today I'm going to share a recipe that you can use for either your lunches or your dinners. And I think it's important to note that you must prep food that you enjoy and that you're actually going to eat. And I'm a huge fan of Mexican. So today I'm going to share with you a Mexican burrito bowl recipe that I know you are going to love. Got my pan here at a medium high heat, just adding a drizzle of olive oil before adding my lean beef. I've got about 500 grams there, and I'm gonna break it up using my spatula. Gonna add some salt. And cook it until it's golden brown. While that beef's cooking, I just want to encourage you to get creative. If you don't like beef, then swap it out either for a lamb or a chicken or a turkey mince. Either would work just as well. Alternatively, you could swap out the meat completely for a can of chickpeas, just so you're getting that hit of protein without the meat for a completely vegetarian option. Okay, that's looking like it's almost ready. I'm gonna add my sachet of Mexican seasoning, the whole thing in there. I've chosen a mild flavor combination. And I'm also going to add about 40 grams of tomato paste. Now, if this gets too dry, you can always add you know, one or two tablespoons of water until you get it at a consistency that you prefer. But that's looking pretty good and I'm just gonna cook it for another few minutes until it is ready. That is it. That is a Mexican beef ready to add to my burrito bowl. That was super easy. The beef is the only element that I'm gonna cook in today's recipe. And the next step is to assemble the burrito bowls with all my other ingredients. Now, the add-ons that I've chosen are tomato, cherry tomatoes, corn, which I've already drained and rinsed. I've got some light tasty cheese here. I'll put a lemon wedge in there as well. You could also use lime. Then I've got a cos lettuce that I've sliced up. I've got some coriander and I'm also going to add some Yo Pro yogurt. So it's quite a versatile recipe. You can really choose whatever add-ons you want. And I'll show you how I assemble all the ingredients now. It's as simple as that. The meat is cooked, I've added the veggies, and then I've arranged them in my three compartment meal prep MVP containers. It's worth noting as well that I'm using the largest compartment for the veggies. Then I've separated the meat and then the dairy. So that will help keep it fresh in the fridge all week. Delicious and healthy food does not have to be time consuming or boring. I know I'm gonna be looking forward to my lunches this week. I will be taking these to work. Also worth noting that you can heat these up or have them cold. I'll either grab it out of the fridge and have it as is. Alternatively, I'll take the veggies and the dairy out, place them on a plate, and then heat up the meat in the microwave for a minute before combining them all together. Now, I really hope you give it a go. Let me know what you think. The full recipe can be found on my website, and I will see you back next week for another session in my kitchen.